today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for an autumn autumnal look. It is the second or third week into September and the weather is finally quite chilly here now so I feel like it's appropriate. I just want to say it's my favourite, like one of my favourite times of year. You can be quite edgy and bold and the, the look I'm going to be doing today is going to actually be a red eyeshadow look um, and I just wanted to say like you can do it. It is really not that scary and I'm going to show you how to do it and how simple it can be and it's a big trend this year to do a bold lip with a red eye. So I'm going to take my hair off my face. I've already washed my face with my Clarisonic. Uh, I used this is the Kiehl's Candula Deep Cleansing Foaming Facial Wash. I've been trying this out for the past two weeks and it's just it's like really clearing up my skin. I have a couple acne like leftover bits but besides that it is like I've had not one single breakout and then I've pre-moisture pre-moistured <laughs> pre-moisturized my face with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream which is my favorite cream especially for this time of year it just leaves your skin dewy all day I have very dry skin and it's just one that I would recommend it's my absolute favorite no perfume in it and it just doesn't irritate my sensitive skin um, I've applied my moisturizer and I'm actually going to leave that to set in. I'm going to start on the eyes. Um, this is the best way to do it. You should really leave your moisturiser to sink into the skin for at least half an hour before you apply your makeup. Just from personal experience and also from studying, I would say it's the best thing. Okay, so I'm going to get straight into it. And the first thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I just always start with my eyebrows just to frame the face. I'm going to be using the Soap & Glory Brow Archery Pen. And take my Ico brow gel in brown and I'm just going to really lift up and encourage them hairs up don't be scared too much product comes out see it just it really it works in the end you just really wiggle it in I love this brow product it's incredible and you're just going to make them really fluffy which is great and if you have sparse brows, you know, just put a little bit of gel on what you've got. It will just bring out the, fi the fibres or the hairs in your eyebrow. You know, I think in the past, uh, big fluffy eyebrows were a, a no in the makeup world and the fashion beauty. Um, but I just want to say, like, it's, it's something now which is very on trend and it's something that you should really embrace the bold brows the season everything okay so now i'm going to zoom you in which is a bit scary uh, and now i'm going to do the eyes i'm going to use first the urban decay eyeshadow eye the original eyeshadow primer potion i'm just going to apply that all over the lid Ooh. Okay, so I've applied my eye primer and then I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Bronze and Glow palette like this, which is just like my everyday bronzer, I love it. I'm going to take a MAC uh, 286 brush, which is just a dual fiber fluffy brush. And all I'm going to do for this look, because the red eye is so bold, I'm just going to just do a very gentle, like adding a bit of depth to the crease. It's not going to be anything too strong. I'm just adding just a little bit of depth, always hold the brush at the very end, use a very light hand and just go backwards and forwards and as you can see it's just adding a little bit of something, not nothing 
too extreme or strong because you don't want that. The effect is going to be with the eyeshadow, the red eyeshadow. Now we have done the crease, just warmed it up a little bit. I am going to use the Morphe 35OS Shimmer Palette and a MAC 238. It's a flat synthetic brush. And the colour that is very on point right now for eye trend is um, like a red brick colour. It is like the biggest autumn fashion thing. A lot of people are very scared to wear it, but I'm going to show you, it really isn't scary in the long run. Um, so I'm going to go in from this palette, and I am going to use this shade. They don't have names, but I'm going to apply that all over the lid with my... Okay, so now you can see I've applied the all of the red eyeshadow onto my eyes. I'm going to go back in with the same fluffy brush I was using. And what you want to do with this is you want to actually blend it out. There will be a little bit of the shade on it before, but you're going to blend it out. And you want to almost like just lift it up in the corner just a little bit. So, you know, it's just popping out. It really does depend on your eye shape. But just like start blending and like you could always add more, so never be scared to blend, you know. And same one here, we're blending in from the inner corner outwards into the V. And this is what we're doing, we're going to just add like a little bit of depth into that corner. And just keep blending all the harsh edges up from the shadow you've applied. Okay, so I've blended that red out, and I'm going to go back in with the same red, and I'm going to use a Real Techniques fine liner brush. It's just a flat, very small brush, and I'm just going to take that colour, and I'm just going to very gently go along the lower lash line. And you want it to meet up in this corner, so... You okay, now I've done the lower lash line. It's looking crazy, I know. Um, but I'm going to go into this middle shade in the Morphe palette, which is like a rusty brown. I'm taking a Sigma E45 brush, and I'm just going to take a very, and I mean a very, very little bit, and I'm just going to tap that onto the outer corner, only onto the outer corner, and just to add a little bit of depth there, but nothing too much, because you want this look to be about the red and the statement of the red eye. See how I've just done that very, very gently in the outer corner and just blend it out a little bit. And same on the other eye. I'm going to use a MAC Teddy eyeliner. I only recently discovered this and I know like everyone's like, this eyeliner's been around for ages and it's definitely like people's cult favorite. And I tried it and I just love it. And for this like look, it really works well. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, first of all, just apply it quite messily along the lash line. And this is the beauty of using a coal. You don't have to be precise when applying it, you know. And just take it in and along. And then just drag it out towards the end. Like so. Okay, and then just before it sets, you want to go back in with your Sigma uh, or small fluffy brush and we're just going to buff that into the lash line like that and what I love about this is because it's a brown it's a lot more softer so it's a lot more I don't know how to explain it it just is so nice it's less harsh than black and it's easier to blend and especially for autumn it's like a really nice color and you see how just applying that there has made such a difference to one eye. Um, and now I'm just going to take that eyeliner again and I'm going to take it through my waterline 
and this is just so pigmented this liner and it lasts all day it doesn't budge it's incredible you know it, it, it really is I'm just going to apply that all the way along my waterline like so and you can already see the difference between the two eyes and this is what takes the red eyeshadow and makes it less crazy and then what you're going to do is just lift your eye, be gentle not to move your shadow, lift your eye up and look down and just apply that into the upper waterline as well. And do you see the difference that makes? Okay, now I'm zooming you out again. I am using the NARS Shigo Foundation in Mont Blanc. Uh, just, I'm using a lighter shade just for this season uh, and also to match my neck. And I'm using a Sigma 104 buffer brush to blend this into my skin. Okay, so I applied only one layer of foundation and like I've been really lucky, my skin's really behaving. I look very pale because the sun has just come out now, but the colour's actually really good, Mont Blanc. Um, and I'm taking now the Born This Way Natural Radiant Concealer from Too Faced. And I'm just going to use this to brighten up under the eyes. And as I was saying, um, my skin is really in good condition because of them Kiehl's products. And I, I will do a uh, skincare video because it's just, it speeds up the time of getting ready when you have good skin. Okay, now I'm going to take the uh, Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, but it actually can be used for buffing out on the face as well. And I'm just going to use that to just blend out that Too Faced Concealer. And you can see it's just going to brighten up and clean up under the eyes. This also helps make the edges of the eyeshadow sharper when you're blending it. It's great. I've actually been loving using brushes at the minute. I don't know why over my beauty blenders and sponges. Okay, so now you can see that I've got my skin. It's like a flawless base. And I do not like to use too much powder. The powder I do use is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And I just take this on the end of this. It doesn't have a name. It's a Lancome uh, fluffy brush. And I just do not drag. When you put powder on, just like tap like this and I always just like to go to my under eye area and just add a little bit of powder there just because it's prone to creasing and that will stop it but all this dewiness we've got in the skin from the NARS foundation we don't want to take that away I like to add a little bit to my nose because I have dry skin but my nose can get a little bit um, greasy throughout the day and also it don't be scared with powder i mean if you have dry skin it, it can be a bit you know daunting but uh all your natural oils come through the powder after about i would say only half an hour of wearing makeup you'll get a little bit of natural oil and it just works into your skin beautifully just don't apply too much i just like to apply it a little bit down the t-zone but uh it really you know, it's great to wear a little bit of powder. It just means that you won't get creasing. Uh, and just, it, you want to leave this dewy, so you don't want to put any powder there. And it, uh, there's a lot of controversy about this because people say that if you put, can, can I put, because you're gonna contour, can I put a contour powder on top of liquid products? Is it gonna look bad? And this, I'm gonna tell you now, absolutely you can. You do not need, to powder your face to put another powder on top. Um, I've tried and tested it myself on other people and you really don't, it's fine. So now I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury uh, sculpting brush, I think it says a sculpting, powder and sculpt, and back into the Charlotte Tilbury bronze and glow. This isn't my favorite highlighter. You wanna always start from the outer and bring it down like that. And I'm just going to do lots of sculpting. I feel like all autumn looks are very sculpted, nice cheekbones, like that. For some reason this brush, like it's such a good brush, I love it, but it sheds like crazy. You need to fix that Charlotte Tilbury, you really do. Why is it shedding? You know I have OCD, 
when it comes to washing my brushes. Anyway, I'm just like very gently just popping that from here to here, just taking a little bit and a little bit, not crazy packing it on. I just take it around my forehead because I have a big forehead and you don't, you know, you don't want people to notice you've got a big forehead, right? <laughs> and then just pinch the brush and a little bit down the sides of the nose like that and that's all I'm going to really do for sculpting and uh, then I am going to take my highlighter on the same brush and I'm just going to apply this it's the most gorgeous highlighter and I'm going to bring it around in a C shape like this you see it's like a champagne color you know it's so beautiful I would say the Charlotte Tilbury highlight colors are one of my favorite just because they're more natural they're not so in your face and that's what I prefer like a more natural highlight and I'm just going to take a little bit of that highlight and I'm just going to take it on my finger and just on top of that eyeshadow just bring it down like that just to add a little highlight beneath the brow same on the other side like that and that is the highlight and sculpting done and then I am just going to take on the same brush again, which is quite bad. <laughs> I just love this brush. And then I'm going to take the Milani um, Red Vino, which is like the perfect um, blush for this season. But do not take too much of this. It is so pigmented and you've already got quite a bold look. So you just want to, it looks like this, by the way. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So one of their Bates World blushes. And you just want to take that very lightly on your brush and over like that. See? And that looks very strong. And it is. And it's such a pigmented blush. But I'm going to show you what I do now to just um, really work that into the skin. You've got a little bit of concealer left on this brush. And you're just going to push that into the skin like that. And you can do this with powder products, it really does work. And it makes it more natural as well. So I'm going to just pop that, push it in, like so. Okay, now you've got the blush, it's blended into the skin. I'm going to use the Volume Million Lashes, so Couture, I've just curled my eyelashes. I'm just gonna apply two coats of this mascara. Take it from the root, and really push into the roots with it, like that. And apply two coats and I really recommend this mascara it's drugstore it's very affordable but it's amazing okay so now we have got the liner and the lashes on it really isn't that much of a scary look anymore you know so this is what I'm saying you can make it work now I'm going to go on to the lips and I am going to do a bold lip because I think you know why not it's on trend it's in season I know that there are rules upon rules about if you're doing a bold eye, you should do a nude lip, it takes it away, but it can really work. I do think it's more recommended for the younger generation, but if you're older, you can do one or the other. So I'm just going to line my lips with Max Current Lip Liner. lip liner and right now it doesn't look too attractive or appealing but this is just to um, create the longevity for the lipstick that I'm going to use which is a all-time favorite of many people it's rebel and they're not the same color but this I all I've done is um, you take the lip liner and you're really pressing it into your lips and this is just going to make it a lot more longevity I, I feel like that's the main reason a lot of women stay away from a bold lip is just because you know it's it's not going to last long so by doing that lip liner step it just it gives you a guide and it also this so this is rebel by mac i'm going to take my sigma lip brush and i'm just going to apply this on top of that <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so Revel is applied and this is what the final look looks like and I am just going to finish the whole thing off by setting it all in praise, praise, <laughs> in place with Cordially Beauty Elixir and I just want to get do a little side note. I know that I said in the past I hated it but I have had like colds and flus and the essential oils in this are so good for your, just like in general really good for you. So I'm going to just spray this on my face. And that's just gonna, it is very strong though. I will be honest with you, it's strong. But it never has given me any problems with my skin. And them essential oils are really good for you and really calming as well. So I would recommend that. And I can see why so many people like that. Anyway, so this is the final look. You've got a red eye. You've got a bold, like, berry lip. And this is like this trend for this autumn and all i can say is be bold don't be scared to do things that are out of your comfort zone because no one's gonna laugh at you it's just makeup and it's supposed to be fun and it's supposed to bring out sides of you that you didn't really you know know and just be adventurous and at the end of the day if it all goes wrong you can just take it off again so i hope you enjoyed watching this and I really hope you guys like the final result. Thank you for watching and please subscribe and like this video.